I am so thankful that I did not listen to what they had to say about me. Hi guys, I'm Shonda and I inspire nations to grow. So for those of you who always turn it on, because mm -hmm. you know, I absolutely just love you. And for those of you who may be new, I want to welcome you guys to the Sing Life community. And if you hadn't done it already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification so that we can stay connected. Help me grow, grow, grow this community and raise the level of vibrational frequency on the planet. Well, listen, guys, I wanted to reach out to someone who may be in between, like in a transitional thing where you know what God has told you to do. And then you went and you shared it with someone that you really did respect and admire to kind of validate it. And they told you the opposite of what God said. So now you're stuck because you know what the revelation is that you got. You know that you've had the vision, you've had the dream, and you heard the voice of God, but they're saying, don't do the thing. Well, I just want you to know that you, 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 you have to rely on what God told you. You cannot trust a man when it comes to what God called you to do. And as I think about that, I think about myself. 23 years ago, I remember going somewhere, talking to someone about the visions and the dreams that God had given me. And I just said, you know, God is wanting to use me to really help women. You know, at the at the time, you know, being so young, I just thought it was women. But God later confirmed, no, I called you to wake everybody up in their consciousness because it's the men that's consciously asleep too that need to hear how to really live their life and how to really be abundant and how to use the laws of attraction and how to understand what I really mean when I say things in my words. So it was just so much at the time. I thought it was just women. And I was told that I couldn't do it. I couldn't operate in my gift of what God told me to do because I was a woman. And I want to reach out to somebody to let you know that you don't need a man's validation on the call. Because if God came to you and told you to do it, you do it. You have the kingdom of heaven endorsing you on your gift, whatever it is in this whole world. Because believe it or not, it is not one particular gender for anything I hear. It is men and women that can do certain things in this earth that God called you to do. And as I began to kind of it was like that person took my keys to my destiny, stuck them in their back pocket and walked away with them because I, I, I really respect it and I gave them that power. I gave them power really over what God told me, actually. And I sat there and I then I began to get dictated to where you can go and do this or you can go and do that. How are you going to tell me what God told me? What you can do is take several seats and screw. I don't think so because I'm going to move forward in what God said for me to do. But I wasn't disrespectful. I said, okay. But I remember leaving and God said to me right there in that parking lot. That's why I told you, don't trust no man. You with me. I told you what I called you to do. And for 23 years, I was in, I was imprisoned. And for 23 years, I had been gagged, bound, bounded, and set back like almost in a prison for 23 years. I didn't utter a word. I kept my mouth shut. Don't you know that's what the enemy wanted? But it still worked out for my good. Because in those 23 years, I began to allow God and his Holy Spirit to educate me in understanding who I was, discovering me, understanding the word, understanding all of that. And God began to open my spiritual eyes to see that it was other people that were called in the Bible, if we use that for an example, that were even thrown into prison, some even crucified. Jesus disappeared off the scene for a long time and then popped up just um, just full-fledged, powerful thing. John put on an island because of what God told him to do. So it's like how are you in a different when I called you to do something because the, they don't want the truth out here. They don't want the truth to be out here. They don't want you to wake up in your consciousness. They don't want you to understand that there's not a barrier between you and God. It's not all this kind of stuff that you have to do. All you have to do is align with God. 
align with him and you will be set free in your mind because you can go through motions all the time. But if you don't have a renewed mind, you're going to miss it. You're going to always struggle. And so I was just chosen to wake people up in their consciousness, male or female. It does not matter. I can do the job. You have to be confident. I know that it's hard, but you have to be confident in what God told you to do. Because we're entering a time of a transformation. What's first is last and what's last is first. God says that I am pouring out double portions of my spirit, not to just men, but I'm pouring them out to women too. I'm pulling people out of the whole earth that you didn't even know existed. Like me, that was set up in solitude in prison for 23 years and he has began to unleash us and let us loose. So all I got to say is just watch out because here we come and we're doing it for God. We're doing it for the kingdom. We're doing it to align people with the vibrational frequency of love, which is him. We're doing it to let people know that they don't have to be prisons in their mind. We're doing it to let people know that you ain't got to do this, 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 and all this. You need to align with God. That's the most, the most important relationship on earth that you will ever have. And you don't need anybody standing in between you and him dictating to you what he done told you to do. So I just wanted to reach out to somebody to say that whatever God has told you to do, if you have heard from God to do it, you don't have to get anybody's permission to do what God told you. And I must say that Shonda Inspires and the Sing Life community would never have been created if I did not do what God said and ignore what they said. And into the next video, guys, mm -hmm. peace. Bye now.